If they give us polar and we want to find the Cartesian, then we're going to have to go through and we're going to have to do a couple of things. I have actually three examples. Let's get into the first. I have this polar equation and I'm trying to create the Cartesian equation and r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared equals r squared. <laughs> Thank you, sweet spirit. This says x squared plus y squared is 5. Then what? You're freaking done. This has not come full circle. We still have two more examples. Should I do this one or should I do the harder one? Let's go intermediate with this guy. I have r is equal to 2 cosine theta. Now what? x equals r cosine theta. Thank you, sweet spirit. I'm gonna wanna go and I'm gonna wanna convert that guy. What am I saying? I'm saying that the cosine of theta, that's uh, the adjacent over the hypotenuse, that's that x over that r. So we can go and we're gonna replace that guy with that. I have r is equal to two times, whoa, wait for it, x over r. Now, clear those r's and I'm gonna say that r squared is equal to two x. What's next? r squared is, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Thank you, sweet spirit. x squared plus y squared is a 2x. What's next? I'm probably going to want to complete that square. Back that math up. I'm going to say x squared pl minus minus 2x plus, leave some room, blank, plus y squared is equal to Zero plus, leave some room, half the middle coefficient squared, add it to both sides. So I'm completing that square to put it in a most proper form. I add that one to both sides because half of two is minus one. Minus one squared is one. So half the middle coefficient squared, add it to both sides. I don't do these ahead of time. So if it's wrong, definitely correct me below. This is one and squared, that's plus y squared, that's equal to one. So we see it's a circle whose radius is a one, zero, and whose center is one, zero, and radius is one. What's next? Let's do the hard one. Oh, Carl. They're gonna go and they're gonna give me those guys. What do I wanna do? I wanna get rid of my R's and thetas and turn them into X and Y's. So I can, I can go and I'll do that. This is R is equal to, the tangent is um Y over X. What's next? The sign, that's one over, hmm. The secant is r over x. So I can go and I can combine those. r is equal to y r over x squared. Then I'm gonna try to solve for zero because I don't wanna go when I'm on I don't wanna divide by r's. When I divide by r's, I could potentially lose solutions like you did back in trick. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get it all to one side. Boom. And this is why I was doing this. This is y r x squared minus r. Now I'm going to factor out that r, zero. Turns out this time you're not going to lose any solutions, but you could have. So this is um, y minus 1 over x squared times r. What does this say? This says, I'm going to take it right here. Boom, boom, bam. This says that either r is equal to zero, mm, degenerate circle, or um, y minus 1 over x squared is equal to Woom, woom, woom. That's what's going awry here. Boom, 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 boom. That's just over that one, and I'm sure you would have caught that. So that's just over that one. So then this is, get down there, minus 
one. Okay. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add that one to both sides. I have y over x squared is equal to one. Fun. Now, clear those fractions. Then when x is equal to zero, who? Degenerate circle. But now I have y is equal to x squared, and it turns out that that's just a fancy way to write a parabola.